In this ship video, I'm going to upgrade the original High Badger so it can survive the hard difficulty a bit better. And I want to give it more survivability for the 113 patch. And I'm currently playing this on the 113 beta branch. The main feature on this patch is that armor has, I think, three to four times more effectivity against incoming fire. However, the enemy is also using armor piercing ammo now. And I think armor piercing ammo has the ability to punch through armor without destroying it completely and striking four or five squares. And I'm not sure if it takes into account how, how dense the square is in terms of, um, of um, what type of item is on it and if it's just a piece or not. And uh, I think two or three guys in the comment section has told me I should try spaced armor concepts. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to add some type of armor caging around it and I'm going to try to make it look acceptable. So let's get started. I'm going to take reinforced hull. Um, usually when I attack enemies, the enemies is over here, over here. That's, that's kind of the way I play the game. So the incoming fire is most likely coming from the top or from those directions. See if we can... Make this aesthetically look like something, not just some piece of armor slashed onto it. I'm not completely enclosing it for aesthetic reasons, and also I don't want to make the ship too heavy. You know, I've got the armor caging, I think it should be able to shoot above it. Okay, let's try that thing out. It feels a bit slow. Okay, the caging survived the first barrage. Oh, have you seen have you seen that? Those three, those were armor piercing hits. You can see the project projectile is flying much faster than the other ones. I think this one cut over here. And this one struck over here somewhere into that, and it didn't go through the armor up there. I think maybe that spaced armor concept breaks the the armor piercing uh, effect of it and at the first thing it enters. Might also almost be too easy. Because the thing doesn't lose much velocity by, by cracking through it. Unless it's just a shaped charge uh, type of ammo. You can see now it took an arm. It took an arm piercing barrage and it went through here and went through here and cut the sh almost the ship almost in half. Okay, now I can't fix all of that because there's a limit to how much armor I can put it. I still want the thing to be able to move and I want to keep all the seven guns on the ship. I don't want to compromise on the gunpowder. 
egg, five pounds. Okay, so what I need is, um, I need to put in, I want to swap them out with 130 millimeter guns. Or perhaps 100 guns to keep a seven of them. Because I hardly need more firepower to kill them quicker. But the ammo need is the same. Should I go for 100 or 130? The fire rate of 100 is a bit faster. Or 130 has more firepower. Now I'll go with 130. I would like to increase the mobility of the ship a bit. Could lose some of those armor pieces over here. I have to be really careful to not get a hit from here because one hit over here is going to tear off half the ship. Let's see if I lose all the armor pieces on the bottom. Let's see what it does. Because my goal is I want to keep the ship not a compromise between many things. I don't want it to be an all-rounder, just a metal sphere that does many things. I want it to be a seven-gun uh, weapon ship that's very well protected from the top. I got a bit more thrust, I got a bit more speed, that's good. Flare system could use... Problem is when the missile's coming from me and I'm shooting flares down here, the missile will still hit the ship. I might put some flare. Also, the ship price is really expensive, 42000 mm. If I play a campaign on hard with no extra money, I can buy two of those, and then I can't buy an aircraft carrier. Now, let's say if I remove the seven ones, and wait a minute, let me check the price. It doesn't have the price, seven for... Yeah, 14 against 28000 yeah, I need, to, I need to swap them for the other types. Now my insistence on seven guns is, is the limiting factor here. If I would remove one gun, I would at least need less ammo, need less crew, maybe less power, and I could actually shrink the ship down. But I want to keep the, the firepower. Huh? Yeah, save 14,000. That looks good. <clears throat> I mean, I could slap on some extra fire protection, fuel, a thousand range, that, that's good enough for a combat ship. Hmm, let's see if I could optimize something else on this one. I could add two missiles, so it could get an edge early in combat, because if they get through the anti-aircraft fire, it shoots down one extra target that, that's not bothering you anymore. Hmm. Also, I had the Palash system. Then again, I don't want to put too much on it. I want to keep it below 30 at least. Let's test it against a few large ships, and if it walks out, I'll keep it like this. I can't really not afford getting hit from the bottom. That would be really bad right now. I made it through one barrage and there's no major hull damage on the ship. Oh, went into the cage. Yeah, those yellow um, blinkers, that means you're getting hit by armor piercing rounds. The thing is about um, armor caging, it's not supposed to give you limited armor. It's supposed to take the first hit so you can do something about it after that. One of my engines is gone. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I want 
to try a really large one. Yep, that should be a good test. Let's see if I can survive the first barrage from a nomad or what. Let's see. Okay. Let's... Okay. Considering I took Nomad and from the Vaya three huge barrages of fire, and I'm still flying, and yeah, that, look, that looks good enough, I think, for the hard campaign. Yeah, let's check the editor again. I could add more flare dispensers to get until 30k, or perhaps more fire suppression systems. I mean, I would really like to remove one gun and add an extra engine, but I really want to keep the seven gun thing going. Because it's the one thing the ship is good at, survive the barrage and then get to a large ship and, and fire really large volume of fire at it, so it can kill it. If I remove the firepower or reduce it, it then it's just a large thing that gets easily hit and can't dish out a lot of um, firepower. Yeah, I think this one is good enough for the next um, campaign on hard, I hope. This should conclude the video, and as always, thanks for watching.